welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. Could Missouri be an SEC dark horse in 2023? The thought of that sounds ridiculous. The question itself sounds ridiculous, but it's not entirely far-fetched. This could be a special year for Missouri football, and today we're going to tell you exactly why that could be. So welcome back to the Gridiron Expert, guys. We're so glad that you could join us today. As always, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos, and check out everything down in the description below. Because guys, here at the Gridiron Expert, the college football season never dies. The season never ends here at the Gridiron Expert. We want you to take advantage of that. We want you to join our conversation. We want you to join our GE Nation and what we're building right here on the channel. We're building something very, very special because of diehard college football fans like you. So like, comment, subscribe, share our videos, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content, including game-by-game -game predictions for every single college football team, including these Missouri Tigers, coming up here in just a few months. So do not miss out on that. Become a part, again, of our GE Nation. So let's take a look at Missouri, right? Again, the thought of them being some sort of SEC dark horse or maybe a, you know, very solid team in 2023, for many, sounds ridiculous. But if you do a deep numbers dive, it's not entirely far-fetched. Again, we're not predicting anything today, but the talent is there for it to happen. You look at Eli Drinkwitz, though. This feels like a make-or-break year for him. Eli Drinkwitz entering year four in Columbia and has just a 17-19 and 19 overall record. He has not produced a winning season at Missouri. He has gotten them to back-to-back -to -back bowl games, both of them losses, both of them with a 6-6 six and six record. So three straight losing seasons, technically, even though he did get on the bowl game. So back-to-back -back six and seven years. This is a season where it feels like Eli Drinkwitz needs to break through and get Missouri to a winning record, because if not, he could be gone. Four years and no winning seasons, that is a problem. But you look at 2022, what happened last year? Missouri was better than their record showed. Four losses by one possession. Four losses by one possession. That included a three-point overtime loss at Auburn, a game that Missouri should have won, but they literally had the touchdown, fumbled the ball into the end zone, Game over. Auburn wins in overtime. Should have been a win for Missouri. Didn't get it. They only lost by four to Georgia. In a game they practically led for the entire game, Georgia got the score in the fourth quarter, pulled away to win by four, nearly took down the eventual national champions. They lost 24-17 to at Florida, and they lost by four, 21-17 to against Kentucky. So I'm not saying that Missouri could have or should have won all four of those games, to say that they should have had a 10-win season, but they easily could have had at least an 8-win season. They should have defeated Auburn. They probably really should have defeated Georgia and maybe give them one more of the Florida-Kentucky game, if not both. It could have been a drastically different season for Missouri, and if they win eight, anywhere from 8 to 10 games last year, we're talking about them in a completely different light in 2023. This team was better than people realize. You look at 2023, though. Major questions abound for Missouri football. The biggest one is who's their quarterback? Who's it going to be? They landed a pretty solid transfer in Jake Garcia, transferring in from Miami. They also have Sam Horn on their roster. And they have Brady Cook as well, who was the starter last year after throwing for over 2,700 yards, 14 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, but completing nearly 65% of his passes. So Cook, by no means the flashiest quarterback of the SEC. By no means one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC, but he's accurate. I will give him that. He is very, very accurate. But Sam Horn, Brady Cook, both getting over injuries right now, which opens the door for Jake Garcia to maybe make some noise. And Eli Drinkwitz has a very big decision to make, especially with a new offensive coordinator and Kirby Moore coming over from Fresno State. Did phenomenal things with the Bulldogs out West. Have no doubt that he'll do well here, especially with a high-octane passing attack that he had with uh, a guy like Jake Hayner at Fresno State. Hopefully that will translate to Columbia. Hopefully that will translate with whoever the quarterback is. The question is, who is it going to be? We truly don't know. Whoever is quarterback, though, does have weapons. They've got Theo Weiss coming in at wide receiver, transferring in from Oklahoma. They have Luther Burden as well, the fifth-ranked recruit in the country in 2022, had 375 yards and six touchdowns last year. Also a very, very dangerous return man on special teams. Yes, Missouri does lose Dominic Lovett. That hurts. That hurts offensively. Imagine if they had Dominic Lovett. This would be one of the better potential wide receiver cores in the SEC if he stuck around. But still, 
Offense has the talent. The defense, though, loses a lot on the defensive line that they're going to need to bulk up up front. This is a team that still ranked 34th nationally in total defense last year. Not too bad at all for a team that ultimately finished 6-7. and seven. So, again, the talent is there. Obviously, a handful of key pieces that Missouri has to replace. More than anything, they've got to find out who their quarterback would be. Many believe it'll be Brady Cook. A lot of fans, I know, want Sam Horn. Jake Garcia kind of being viewed as, a, as an afterthought right now. Lots up in the air right now, but it's a major decision that Eli Drinkwitz is going to have to make for, again, a year that feels like a make-or-break season for him on whether or not he gets to survive another season in Columbia. You take a look at the schedule. Again, this, the talent is there. The talent is there for Missouri. I, I truly believe that. And the schedule stacks up pretty favorably early on. They don't leave the state of Missouri until week five. The Tigers stick around in their own state all the way until week five. In the first eight weeks... They only have two true road games. So two times they have true road games in the first eight weeks. That's insanely favorable. I mean, you can't really top that. That's almost unheard of. Practically two months for two road games. That's really, really good. The cross divisions, though, they're tough. They draw LSU, the reigning West champions, uh, out of the uh, the cross division there. And then they, of course, draw Arkansas this year on the road. The close game last year, Missouri got the win. Now they have to go to Fayetteville. And the Razorbacks, of course, will not be a slouch. They also draw Kansas State in the non-conference. The Wildcats annihilated Missouri last year. Uh, yes, Missouri does get to host them, but they are the reigning Big 12 champions and made the Sugar Bowl last year and expect to be competitive once again. So the cross divisions aren't favorable. The non-conference necessarily isn't favorable. But the way the schedule lines up, especially from a, uh, you know, a home advantage, the way it stacks up in those first eight weeks where Missouri could potentially do the majority of their damage, it sets up to where this could be the first winning season under Eli Drinkwitz, and he needs it. The Tigers need to come out with a winning season in 2023. Because I feel like if he doesn't, even if they go 6-6 six and six and they lose the bowl game, I think Eli Drinkwitz could be done. Talent is there. The schedule, to an extent, is there. It's a make-or-break year. This team was much better in 2022 than people realized. The question is, can Missouri find a way to finish games in 2023 and find a way to flip that record, to flip those games, and have a special season. Shout out to my guy, Eddie Rose, real quick. There's your Missouri video, my guy. Your prediction video will come out here in a few months. We did want to talk on the Tigers. Promise you we would. Very excited to see what your team has in store here in a few months. So, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching us here at the Gridiron Expert on YouTube. Make sure to continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos, and, of course, check out everything down in the description below. Because again, here at our channel, guys, here at the Gridiron Expert, college football never dies. The season never ends. And we want you to become a part of our GE Nation. We want you to become a part of what we're building here. And we're building something extremely, extremely special because of you, because of the diehard fans. Join our team. Enjoy college football. Talk with us. Join the conversation. This is the place to be. And once again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on the Gridiron Expert. Oh,